Welcome my friend, this is A2B2 Yoga. My name is Ashley and this little guy that joins me is Johnny. Our practice today is a beginner's balance flow. So have a chair handy or maybe position yourself near a wall to help build your balancing practice. Have a yoga strap belt or I forgot my yoga strap so I used my dog leash. So whatever is handy and available to you. And real quick before we get started, if you look off into the background, you can see a pirate ship off in the distance. There's actually two out there, but one's too far away to see. But we have two here at the bay right now. One ship is from Pirates of the Caribbean, the movie, and the other is called the Hawaiian Chef Tame. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, um, but it's here from Hawaii. All right, friends, after that little ditty, let's go ahead and let's get ready to connect your mind and your body, your body with your breath, and your breath with the movement. Join me in a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Place your hands on your knees, and sit up tall, finding length in your spine. Breathe in through your nose, and exhale a sigh out your mouth. Go ahead and close your eyes. Let yourself fully arrive here on the mat. Just notice your breath. Feel yourself arrive and begin to connect with the present moment. With each inhale, your body rises and with each exhale, your body falls. Bat your beautiful eyes open and spread a soft smile across your face. Go ahead, extend your left leg long, your foot flexed, toes to the sky. Slide your left arm down your leg, and on your next inhale, reach the opposite arm up and over the extended leg. Go ahead and spiral your chest to the sky, your gaze under your arm, and reach that extended arm, reach your fingertips towards your toes. While you do this, stay mindful of your right hip. You wanna make sure that it stays grounded to the mat. On your next inhale, rise up. Begin to square your hips. Place the right sole of foot to the mat. Go ahead and grab your strap wherever you have it handy and place it around your extended leg's foot. Once you get set up, roll your shoulders up and back as you find a long spine and slowly lift the extended leg as you lean your torso back, finding your balance. Let your chest reach forward as you lift your leg your kneecap points directly to the sky. And slowly, with control, lower your foot to the mat. Set the strap off off to the side and hug your knee as you get tall. Place your right hand behind you close to your sits bones and we'll inhale your left arm to the sky. On your next exhale, begin to twist at your navel to the right. Tuck your elbow into the outer right thigh. Keep length in your spine. We'll release and come to center. Hug your knee in one more time and then we'll switch to the other side. Extend your right leg long, foot flexed, toes to the sky. Slide your right arm down your leg, and on your next inhale, reach the opposite arm up and over your extended leg. Keep your front ribs knitted together and spiral your chest to the sky. Your gaze is under your arm. Reach the extended arm towards your toes. Stay mindful of your left hip. Remember to keep it grounded to the mat. On your next inhale, rise up and we'll begin to square your hips up. So place your left sole of foot to the mat and go ahead and grab your strap once again and place it around your extended leg's foot. Once you get there, go ahead and roll your shoulders up and back, squeezing your shoulder blades together, finding a long spine. Slowly lift the extended leg as you lean your torso back, finding a nice balance. 
Let your chest reach forward as you lift your leg. Both kneecaps point up to the sky. Slowly, with control, we'll lower your foot to the mat. Go ahead and set your strap off to the side and hug your knee in as you sit up tall. Place your left hand behind you close to your sits bones and we'll inhale your right arm up to the sky, lift up, and on your exhale, begin to twist at your navel, opening up to the left. Keep lengthening your spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head. On your inhales, you'll find length, and with your exhales, you'll twist a little deeper. Let's release and come to center. Hug your knee in, and then we'll move to butterfly pose. So your soles of feet will kiss, your knees will rest open. Gently grasp your ankles, breathe in, take your shoulder heads back and down, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Slowly begin to wave your body from side to side. As you do this, keep a long spine. Feel a stretch in your hips as you sway to the right and to the left. Come to center. Take a deep breath in as you get tall. And we'll slide our hands to cradle our feet. And slowly begin to lean your torso back in space as you do this will lift your butterfly up off the ground. Lean back until you find your balance. Keep that long spine. Your feet gently press away as your hands gently pull towards your body and breathe in and breathe out. Slowly lower with control to the mat. We'll begin to hinge forward at your hips. Keep this an active stretch, letting your chest guide you forward. Release and make your way to hands and knees. Stack your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Breathe in and starting at your tailbone, begin to ripple your spine, dropping your belly, coming into cow pose. Lift your chest and chin and exhale, starting at your tailbone once again as you round, drawing your navel to your spine and we're lifting up. Crown of head releases. Inhale slowly, rippling your spine, lower your belly to cow pose, broaden your chest and your shoulder blades. And exhale as you round your spine, letting your head drop straight down to the mat, not tucking your chin. Breathe in, ripple into cow. This is your last round, so take any feel good movements. And exhale, rounding into cat. Return to neutral spine. Clarify your foundation, your wrist under your shoulders, knees under your hips, fingers spread nice and wide. Lengthen your tailbone, navel draws to your spine, your front ribs knit together, and let's extend your left leg long behind you. Inch your hips are square by glancing back and pointing your toes down to the mat. Once you feel ready, go ahead and extend your right arm long. Really reach forward in your fingertips and back in your toes to get nice and long. Hug everything into the midline. Keep reaching, feel the length, make sure you're breathing. Go ahead and lower your extended arm. Your extended leg big bends at the knee as we bring it through and coming in through to a low lunge. Line your front knee over your ankle, wave your spine long, your heart shines forward. On your next exhale, allow your hips to sink and feel the stretch in the front of the right thigh. Breathe into this area.
Bring your left arm to the inside of your left leg, melting a little deeper. And then let's take it to the side. So walk your hands to the right off of the mat. Keep your knee over your ankle. Your back leg strongly presses into the mat. Your hips melt to the mat. Arms engage as your chest leads you. Shoulder blades squeeze together. This is an active stretch. All right, slowly walk your hands back. Bring your left arm to the outside of your foot, frame, both hands framing your foot. Tuck your back toes, press up to a runner's lunge. And we'll rise up. Bring your hands prayer at heart. Keep a generous bend in your back knee, allowing your hips to remain square. Let's bring your heel to the mat, your toes out at 90 degrees coming into warrior two. You can adjust your back leg for a nice long stance. Extend both arms long. Straighten your front leg. Your front foot becomes parallel with the mat. Bring your toes in a little pigeon toe. Breathe in. Extend your arms open wide. And on your exhale, begin to slowly fold forward at your waist. Your arms remain extended to the right and left. And once you get halfway down, pause there and hold it. Breathe. And then slowly lower the rest of the way to the mat. Relax your head and neck. Feel the length in the back of your neck. Walk your fingertips forward so we can lift our chest halfway. Begin to bend the left knee. Keep the right leg straight, flex the right toes as you drop the hips. And we'll move from side to side. So inhale to the center, exhale your right knee bends, your left leg straight. And let's do this a few more times, going at your own pace. Make your way to center and fold forward. We'll inhale halfway lift. Extend your arms long to the right and left. Feel rooted in the soles of your feet. Engage your core strength and slowly rise up. Arms release, front toes point to the front of the mat and begin to heel toe your back foot in. Heel toed in about, so it's about three or four feet distance from your front foot. We're going to take pyramid pose. So the back toe points out 45 degrees. Your feet are hip width apart, but on two separate tracks. Clasp opposite elbows, or if you can, take reverse prayer behind your back. Turn your torso to face the front. Draw your right hip slightly forward, squaring up your hips. And inhale, elongating your spine. And exhale, folding forward at your hips. We'll slowly lower to halfway and let's hold it there. Keep your shoulders drawing back. Maintain length in your spine from the crown of your head, extending forward. Your tailbone reaches behind you. Beautiful. To release, press through the back heel and slowly lift your torso. Release and circle your arms to the sky. Step back foot to meet the front and we'll exhale your arms down. Begin to shift your weight to the left foot. Really ground in to the sole of your foot and lift your right knee up, hugging it into your chest. Go ahead and place your hand on your chair or wall to help support and build your balance practice. Keep a slight bend in your standing leg. 
and take a few ankle circles here in one direction. And then the other. Go ahead and flex your right foot. Your right hand grasps your right knee. Your left hand can come to your hip or to a chair wall and begin to open your right knee. Find a point of dristy in front of you, a point of focus to help balance. And slowly guide your knee back into center. Give it a gentle hug in and release to the mat. Your feet will kiss. Breathe in a refreshing breath as you extend your arms to the sky. And let's take chair pose. So exhale, bend your knees, sits bones lower back as if they're sitting into a chair. Weight shifts to your heels. Toes may even lift off the mat. Breathe in. Extend your arms out in front of you and exhale, twisting from your navel, open to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist and open to the left. Inhale back to center. Keep those hips lowered and exhale, open to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale to center. One more round, opening to your right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Lower your hips one to two inches, and then dive forward, releasing into a sweet release. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, meld forward. Inhale, circle your arms to the sky, and lower prayer at heart. Let's begin to shift our weight into the left sole of the foot once again. Feel it grounded and rooted in. We're going to take tree pose. So level one, you can take your right foot to the left ankle. From here, open your right hip and make sure your hips are square. Hip points shine forward. Level two, you can slide your foot up to your calf. Level three, you can grasp your right foot and place your foot on the inner thigh near your groin. You can bring your hands to prayer at heart or for a little more of a challenge, you can open your arms up to the sky. Energetically press your right knee open. Your foot presses into your thigh and your thigh presses back to help stabilize. Find your dristy, breathe in, and breathe out. And let's release and hug your knee up into your chest. Keep your bent knee lifted, your hands to your hips, and begin to lean your torso forward as you extend the leg behind you. We'll slowly lower it down with control, going into a high lunge pose. Nice work, my friend. Extend your arms to the sky, breathe in. Take a mini back bend and exhale, slowly lower your hands to frame your front foot. Your front foot steps to meet your back. Your hips press up to down dog. And your knees lower to the mat. We'll take this flow to the other side. Let's clarify our foundation in tabletop pose. So your wrists under your shoulders, your knees under your hip points, and let's extend the right leg long behind you. Once you feel ready, go and extend your left arm long. Really reach forward in your fingertips and reach back through your toes to get nice and long. Keep reaching, feel the length from your toes to your fingertips and slowly lower your extended arm. Your extended leg bends and will bring it in through the center line, setting up for a low lunge. Line your front knee over your ankle, wave your spine long, let your heart shine forward. On your next exhale, 
We'll allow our hips to sink and feel the stretch in the front of your left leg. Go ahead and direct your breath into this area. Bring your right arm to the inside of your right leg, going a little deeper. And then we'll walk our arms over to the left side off of the mat. Make sure you're keeping your front knee over your ankle. Your back leg strongly presses into the mat and your hips melt to the mat. Your arms engaged as your chest leads you forward. Shoulder blades really squeeze together. And then let's walk our hands back. Bring your right arm to the outside of your foot, framing your front foot. Go ahead and tuck your back toes and we'll press up into a runner's lunge. Rise up, bring your hands prayer at heart. Bend into your back knee to help square up your hips. Release your heel to the mat, toes out at 90 degrees. We're coming into warrior two. You can adjust your back foot for a nice long stance. Extend your arms long to the right and left. Straighten your front foot. Your front foot will become parallel with the mat, slightly pigeon toeing your toes in. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as your hands press down towards the mat, and then they'll press away to the space behind you. Taking your gaze up, we'll move into a back bend. Your feet feel rooted in, heart shines to the sky, and on your exhale, we'll slowly begin to fold forward at your hips, taking your arms up and overhead. Once you get to the halfway marker, go ahead and pause there. Press your arms to the space in front of you now, and then fold the rest of the way forward. Breathe into any areas of tightness. With control, Release your clasp hands. Your hands come down to the mat. You can take your peace fingers and move, take them around your big toes if this sounds nice. And you'll bend into your elbows to gently pull your torso a little closer to your thighs. From here, you can shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Release any tension you're feeling. Relax your facial muscles. Fingertips come to the mat and we'll inhale halfway lift. Hands come to your hips and press up to the soles of your feet as you rise up. Front toes point to the front of the mat and begin to heel toe your back foot in about three to four feet apart from your front foot, taking pyramid pose. Back toes out at 45 degrees. Remember to keep your feet on two separate tracks. You can clasp opposite elbows behind your back or take reverse prayer. Whenever you're in reverse prayer, really direct your fingertips towards your head. Turn your torso to face the front. Draw your left hip slightly forward, squaring your hips. And we'll inhale, finding length in your torso, and exhale, folding at your hips. Lower halfway, and then let's hold it here. Keep shoulders drawing back. Maintain length in your spine from the crown of your head to your tailbone. 
ground down in the heel of your back foot. All right, let's release, press through the back heel and slowly lift your torso. Release your arms and circle them up to the sky. Step back foot to meet the front and exhale, lower your arms. Begin to shift your weight to the right foot. Really ground down in the sole of your foot, feel it rooted in. Let's bring our knee up and hug it into the chest. Remember you can place your hand on the chair or the wall here to help support and build your balance practice. Take a few ankle circles in one direction. And then we'll take it in the other direction. All right, let's flex your left foot and your left hand, grasp your left knee. Right hand can come to your hip or to the chair or wall and we'll begin to open your left knee. Keep that foot flexed. Find a point of focus in front of you. This will really help with your balance. And slowly guide your knee back to center. Give it a gentle hug in and release your foot to the mat. Your feet, your feet will kiss, toes will touch. Breathe in, take a deep refreshing breath in as you extend your arms to the sky. And we'll take chair pose once again. So exhale, bend your knees, your sits bones lower back as if you're sitting into a chair. And then from here, we'll begin to actually shift our weight into the front sole of our foot, into our toes. And we'll rise your heels up they come off the mat once you're up go ahead and check back in with your hips and sink them about one to two inches lower feel the burn in your legs welcome it all right go ahead and release and dive forward into a well-deserved forward fold lift halfway and then release forward inhale circle your arms to the sky and we'll lower prayer at heart. Let's shift our weight back into the right sole of foot so we can take our tree pose. So feel grounded and rooted in the sole of the foot. Remember level one, you can take your foot to your ankle. Here we will open up your hip, press it open, but make sure your hips are square. Level two, you can take it to your calf. Level three, you can grasp your foot and place it to the inner thigh near your groin bringing hands to prayer at heart or extending them up to the sky. If you fall out, no sweat. The ground is there to catch you. Don't judge yourself. Just accept you are right where you should be. And soft smile across your face. Really press that hip open. Your foot presses into your thigh and your thigh presses back. This will help to stabilize here in tree pose. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, let's release and hug your knee and keep your knee hugged into your chest. Place your hands to your hips and let's begin to lean your torso forward as you extend the leg behind you you'll slowly lower the extended leg down with control coming into high lunge. Beautiful work, my friend. Extend your arms up to the sky, breathe in, and take a mini back bend as you exhale, slowly lowering your hands to frame your front foot. Your front foot steps to meet your back, Press your hips up to down dog. Take any feel good moves here in down dog. This is our last one. If you want a little added challenge, we begin to shift your weight into your left hand, into your knuckles and fingertips take your right hand and slide it through grasping the outside of your left ankle or your calf. Your gaze will shift under your armpit. Keep your weight evenly distributed in both hands. 
release your hand and take it to the other side. Shift your weight into your right hand. Take your left hand and slide it through, grasping the outside of your right ankle or your right calf, whatever you can reach. Take your gaze under your armpit and release. Your knees come to the mat. Tuck your back toes. Make sure all your toes are pointing forward. Your hips come to your heels and we'll lift our knees up off the mat. Hands prayer at heart. You can close your eyes or focus on a point of dristy. If you have a block candy or maybe a book, you can prop your knees up on the block to help with the balance and to hold this posture a little bit longer. Find a long spine. Let's release your hands to the mat and slowly sit back. The legs extend long. If your feet and toes need a little massage, go ahead and give it to them. Massage it out. All right, we're gonna move into half boat pose. So keep a bend in your knees, soles of feet to the mat, sit up tall, lean back slightly as you lift your feet, bringing your shins parallel with the mat. Soothing breaths in and out. Extend your arms long, palms to the sky. You can stay here or begin to alternate straightening one leg and then the other. As you do this, lift your chest, lengthen the front of your torso, taking care to not let your lower back round or your chest to collapse. On the next one, go ahead and extend everything long and slowly lower yourself to the mat. Once you arrive, bring your knees into your chest and begin to make big circles with your knees. Feeling the massage in your hips joints as well as your low back. We'll switch directions. Release your feet to the mat and fan your knees over to the left and then take them to the right and then extend your legs long, feet as wide as the mat, arms flail out to the right and left taking up as much space as you need. Let's settle into stillness. So go ahead and get any wiggles or scratches out, take care of them and then we'll relax and release your muscles, release your body, and release your mind. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Keep your eyes closed and roll over to the right side. Let your bicep be your pillow. Once you get there, take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow exhale out your nose. With your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward, go ahead and press yourself up and make your way to a comfortable cross leg seat. Once you arrive, go ahead and place your hands on your knees, sitting up tall, and take a moment to notice how you're feeling, how your body feels now compared to whenever we started, how your mind feels now compared to whenever we started. Take a beautiful breath in of love and light as you extend your arms to the sky. Palms kiss the top and we'll lower prayer at heart. Bring your hands to your forehead, setting intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourself and of others. Hands lower to your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as we nourish our body. 
and hands lower to your heart, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Sending you and all beings love and light. Namaste. So happy to have you join me today. I hope you feel amazing and in tune with your body and mind. I look forward to seeing you soon. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel to get the latest yoga love each week.